So with our rectangle now drawn, and it is still selected, which is going to be really important at this stage. And then you can head across to the properties panel and click on the fill color chip. That will pop open. It does show us with a very tiny outline around the swatch that's currently applied that it's the green, but we need to make our own. We're not going to use one of the pre-supplied ones. Instead, we're going to head up to the other icon in that same panel called the color mixer. And in here, it will show us the current breakdown of colors as cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And we're going to just change those values. So for the top one in here, the cyan, it usually is always highlighted. So you can start typing straight away. For that one, you can type in 40 and then you can hit the tab key on the keyboard and it will take you to the next field down. And then for the magenta, that's going to be 70. And again, hit the tab key. For the yellow field, well, that's going to stay at 100. If yours isn't 100, then do change it. And then finally, I'm going to hit the tab key one more time to go down to the black field, which is labeled K. And that one is going to be 50. Now at that stage, it won't update the slider in there. We have to go to a different field. Now you could try clicking in a different field up here, which is probably the quickest way. If you were to hit the return key, it would make that panel disappear. All you have to do is go back to the color chip, left click on there and all of your colors will then be shown. We need to save this really. So I'll go up to the panel menu at the very top right hand side, click on that. And the very bottom option in there is called create new swatch. I'll left click on that. And it takes us to new swatch. Now that will be named according to the color values, the numbers that we input into that dialog box a moment ago. I would tend to say, if you can give it a name. So we'll call this tree trunk. Now, if you do have a checkbox down towards the bottom turned on called add to my library, that will add this color also to something called a creative cloud library. If it was a branded color, you may wish to turn that option on. And we'll talk more about creative cloud libraries later. But for now, I'll make sure it's turned off and click OK. And you will notice then if I go back to the pop up menu, which is still there and click on the uh, option at the top for swatches. And that's our tree trunk. I'll hit the return key. And that's how you create and save a swatch color.